Hello fellow YouTubers, welcome to this video, part 4 of the Diamond Randomized Nuzlocke. We're gonna go over the team real fast, we got China, the Golem, I wanna send the grinding montage, well the grinding. She learned Magnitude, so she finally has two stab moves, which is gonna be great. We got Stone Cold, the Persian, uh, same moves I believe, I think we taught Hyperfang in the last part. But, I did look it up and realized that she does not learn Payday. I guess Meowth learns Payday. So we got Sable, the Torkoal. Same moves as last time, pretty sure. We got Tori, Wilson, the Scyther. Uh, same moves as last time. We got The Rock, our Dragonite. Uh, same moves as last time. But, yeah. We got Undertaker, the Matang. Same moves as last time. Yeah, something I'm learning about randomized Nuzlocke is Pokemon don't learn new moves, especially when they're already evolved. They just don't seem to want to learn anything. But yeah, so this part, hopefully, we can get done all the Team Galactic crap. And then... Yeah, hand over that sweet honey. Team Galactic will have that honey. We want to have to attract Pokemon in great numbers. This kid is a witness. Oh, they think they're going to beat me. I think it's humorous. It's like, how is this going to help their goal? I've never understood that. Cool trainer forward. Sends out a shift tree. That's not good, because I think we're leading with... Yeah, we're leading with China. That's not good at all. Yeah, we're going to switch out. He might not have any grass moves, but I'd rather be safe versus sorry in a situation like this. China is our starter, and we kind of suck to lose her. Yeah, Razor Leaf. I think Razor Leaf is a physical attack, so I don't think it would have killed him, but it did two damage to Sable. So I think I made the right choice, guys. And of course he outspeeds. Yeah, keep using Razor Leaf. See, Shift Tree would be a nice addition to our team. We don't have anybody Dark or Grass right now. But he would add to the fire weakness we have. I mean, we got two Pokemon weak against fire, two Pokemon weak against three Pokemon weak against the ice. At least for the time being. That's crazy. Kangaskhan, really? Um, we'll send out the rock. You guys haven't gotten to see the rock in action yet. And I can tell you, he is going to deliver the rock bottom on this Kangaskhan. Don't know why Team Galactic has a Kangaskhan, but I'm not questioning it. I really hope it doesn't outspeed the rock. That'd be crazy. The rock won't flinch because of his inner focus. Ooh, get schooled, Kangaskhan. You might be a cool trainer, Forrest, but on the inside, you are still a Team Galactic grunt who doesn't know anything about Pokemon. Hashtag facts. Yeah, we took him down. It wasn't that bad. Granted, some people might say we're overleveled, uh, at the end of the last video, we were at level 14, and like half of them were already almost at 15. Yeah, come on, you battle me now. You think you can beat me? As long as you don't have like a Mewtwo, we'll be fine. Even if you have a Mewtwo, I think we'll still be fine. A Snubble? <laughs> Uh-oh, we better watch out, you got a level 11 Snubble. That's ridiculous. Oh, he's got Intimidate, though. That's dumb. We'll just use Magnitude. Magnitude 10. Oh my god. Uh oh, overkill. That was ridiculous. We just took down those Galactic Grunts, Cool Trainer, Rachel, and Forrest. If only I'd want these in Pokemon. Yeah, your buddy had a Kangaskhan and a Shift Tree, and they gave you a Snubble. What kind of shitty deal was that? Yeah, give me that key. Now we can go in there, rescue that little girl's father, and make the Drifloon, who are probably not Drifloons, reappear. Yeah, give me your honey. <laughs> Sounds really weird. Is there a Fire Ice Pokemon? Because I think would wreck us. I should probably look up a guide to see how we get stuff for the Pokenav. Or poke edge. Because in a situation like this, that yeah, would really, really help. I want to say in the last part we made an encounter at Valley Woodworks, didn't we? I 
think we did. I think we did. Which, well, you ain't gonna be able to stop me, man. Cool trainer Joe. Sending out a Pasi Rishu. Pashi Rishu. Paki Risu. Paki Risu? I don't know. Magnitude. That's why I'm glad we have China. Use that magnitude. Get wrecked. You thought you had a chance of beating us? Bitch, please. Nice, trying to grow to level 16. But as I was mentioning earlier, and then I walked into the Galactic Dialogue, the goal is to hopefully be able to get through to uh, Eterna. That would be an ideal place to stop. Your cohorts, but I already battled your cohorts, dumb fuck. Do we need the heal? I don't think we do. Yeah, let's use the work key. And let's go in there. Yeah. You better run. I'm coming after you, bruh. I ain't fooling around, kid. This is how professional do it. Let's see what cool trainer... I don't know. Cool trainer Sonya has an Arcanine. That's really not good. The question is, does it have a fire attack? Um. Gee, yeah. Yeah, try to, try to use your clear body. Bring on the bitch. It has bite, which shouldn't do that much. Yeah. We'll use confusion. I think we'll have, have to heal after this battle. Because now I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, like three of the Pokemon are injured right now. Four, maybe? Granted, we are kind of overleveled, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll battle all the galactic grunts and then go back and decide. Fire Fang? This whole time you were using friggin' Bite and you had Fire Fang? Jesus. Yeah, we gotta get him out of there. We'll put Stone Cold in there. Stone Cold comes in to rescue the Undertaker! I don't think it ever happened. Roar? R really? You're about to kill me and you used Roar? Stupid AI. Goodness gracious. That was horrible. I'm like, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Then I see Fire Fang, I'm like, uh, maybe we're not. <laughs> yeah, you better not get a bonus. You used Roar when you were about to kill one of my Pokemon. What kind of dumb fuck are you? We gotta run all the way back to get our Pokemon healed because you had to have Fire Fang. Come on. Sometimes I feel like this game takes forever to load. Heal my Pokemans. Come on, Nurse Joy. I got a Galactic Grunt to fight. Probably like six of them, actually. I think we'll be fine now. You just figured that was three battles and... Eh. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too paranoid. Let's continue on through the Valley Wind Works. Oh, there's a trainer up there. We gotta battle every trainer we can. Just because we're low on cash. It seems like every route we go to, we run out of cash again because we have to buy Pokeballs downside of battle while well, catching so many higher level fully evolved form Pokemon. A Bastiodon? Jesus Christ. These trainers are not fucking around. Um, I don't think we have anything super effective against him. Because Sable might be, but she's also weak against Ground and Rock. And I know he's one of those, but I've never used one before. Really? Really, you POS? Hopefully we'll get lucky and confuse him. That'd be swell. It's not very effective. 
attack. Oh, that's not going to be very effective either. I mean, this could be a long battle, but... Really? Okay, we're, we're, we're switching to Sable. He'll probably use Protect again, because that's the pattern he used before. Two Protects and then a Tackle. Taunt. What did you just say to me, you little bitch? You want me to use Ember? Yeah, yeah, I will. That's all it did. I thought it was super effective against him. Uh -uh, I don't feel too confident about that anymore. Rock Smash. There we go. He's against fighting, now we know that. I mean, one of the weakest moves in the game, Rock Smash kills him. So, a Heat Brand, really? Uh, we'll leave Sable out there. Technically, we could switch to China, but... If we switch to China, then China's gonna be too over-level. So we're just gonna keep using Rock Smash. Ancient Power, I forgot about Ancient Power. Woo! 16 damage. This means we should be able to wall out another one of those, if need be. Hmm. Do we have potions? Two. Um. Yeah, we're gonna switch out the China. In a situation like this, I'd rather not lose Sable just because I'm being uh, lazy. I think all it has is ancient power, because we ran into some of them in the wild when I was grinding. And that seemed to be the only thing it would do. So. I want to say he's fire steel, so magnitude should be four times effective. So there should be no chance he survives. Yeah. Get wrecked, son. Heat Ran has a gender. That's weird. There we go. We took care of Team Galactic. Cool trainer Landon. I don't like Team Galactic grunts who think they're cool trainers. I meant to battle that trainer. Yeah, create a new world. But people have shown... <clears throat> but people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either. Do you? It's a little sad, mate. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we... Team Galactic. Oh, I forgot to mention the theme song in Floroma, fucking bopping. A bee drill, cop landing. R really, really, you think you're a cop? <laughs> God, some of these trainer classes are so weird. Yeah. So, notice her bee drill's level 14, so her ace is probably 14 or 15, maybe 16. So we are not over leveled, guys. Please, please don't, don't jump at my throat. Because I'm at level 15. Uh, I'm trying to confuse them. Maybe kill them. Come on. Damn it. I hate Fury Attack. It's just annoying because it's like the longest attack ever. A critical hit. My critical hit did two damage. Your B drill does not stand a chance against my attack. Of course, naturally, it's five times. What do I know? I mean, you can do that eight more times. And you still wouldn't kill me. You'd almost be dead. That's the sign I hit five times every time. Okay, we took down that B drill. That wasn't really a threat. Undertaker grew to level 16. That's what I like to see. Still some hard to new move. A Pichu. Pichu is your ace. Fucking beat you. Why didn't you. Mm. You have a grunt with a fucking heat ramp. And you all have a Pichu. A level 16 Pichu, nonetheless. That, that's so dumb. That's the one thing that's weird about these, is that, like. Okay, I was about to say, you better not have one of those berries that prevents flinching. But it's one of the weird things about these, is that, like, there's no rhyme or reason behind how people get Pokemon. 
Which maybe there is because Rourke did have three legendaries. This can't be. I lost. But the text went away before you could read it. Oops. I messed that one up. That's alright though. I quite enjoyed our battle. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, go go see your little daughter. Oh, you stink. Yeah, the balloon Pokemon better come visiting again. I wanna say we made an encounter for Valley Windworks. Because I feel like I remembered that it, the grass was right there, and I was like, well, we can't get a drift loan. But I just don't feel confident with that. I don't. What did we encounter there? It had to be something I wasn't going to use. Let me check the PC. Because this is really bothering me now. Was it Flareon? Round 204. Oh, the Macargo. Okay. Okay, that, that makes sense. I don't know. We've ran into three fire types so far. In a normal Gen 4 playthrough, you don't run into any. Get it, guys? Because there's like no fire types in Diamond and Pearl. Except for Chimchar and uh, Ponyta. Or Ponyta, however you guys want to pronounce it. Undertaker leveled up, so let's switch him out. I don't know if we're going to have enough time to get to Eterna. We might just get to Eterna Forest and call it a day there. Because it's also a good place to grind, being as we'd have... I don't remember what the lady's name is. To help us. We'll, we'll buy ten more Pokeballs. And then we get a Premier Ball as an added bonus. We'll, just, we'll stick with regular potions for a little bit. But yeah, as I learned... Persian does not learn Payday in Gen 4. I guess Meowth learns it. So, realistically, Persian is now officially expendable. Because I am not going to sit there and freak out about that. I mean, Persian's nice and all, but doesn't really offer much to this team. Cleric Forest. A lot of forest trainers. It's a shuffle! Aww. Level 14, Shuckle. Shuckles are adorable. Bide. That sucks. Whatever, we're using Thunder Wave anyway, so... We'll be fine. Get Paralyzed, Shuckle. I wish we had, like, Dragon Dance. Well, everything else we have is an attacking. We'll use Dragon Rage. I forgot that he learned that. My bad. When I went through the team, I forgot to mention, he learned Dragon Rage. Which I want to say always does 40 damage. So. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Kind of slipped my mind there a little bit. You don't fuckle with Shuckle. Do I have to censor that? Or... I feel like I shouldn't. Do we make an encounter on this route? Because I don't think you can until this point. Yeah, Route 205, that's 204, it's Valley Windworks. So we can make an encounter here. And we can also make one for Eterna Forest. So we can get two encounters done in this episode, which I think is super exciting. Oh no, I was trying to get that Pokeball, man. There's no mountain here, but I'm dressed to hike. Oh no, there's steps. I mean, that's, that's something. Schoolboy Jill. <laughs> Schoolboy. <laughs> Come on. This randomizer is nuts. That is an old man. Not old, but he's happy at least in his 30s. He ain't no schoolboy Jill. As long as he doesn't survive this, we'll probably be fine. And he survives with like 1 HP. But he has Splash! Sheesh. Good job, amigos. Good job. Let's wrap him. Yeah. That's what you get for being Migos. We're gonna show you what real rap is about. Nah, I'm, I'm just playing, guys. Migos are fine. I'm not gonna badmouth Migos. A giraffe rig? Yeah, we don't have any, uh, bug moves. We have bite. That's the only dark move we have. We have no ghost moves. 
But well, since Tori Wilson out here, she hasn't been seen in this part yet. So let's get her some experience. Oh yeah, that's right, she has Pursuit. I forgot that she learned that. You didn't think that was seriously going to beat me, did you? Come on. Dora Wilson gained a lot of experience. A skeptile. I guess Sable's up. Come on, Sable. Get out of here. I think you have to battle the second gym before you do the Team Galactic stuff in the next town, right? Because you need Cut to get in there. Which means, realistically, you have to be trained up high enough to battle whatever her ace is. Amazon fucking with me. They're like, customers who bought this item also buy this item. Well, I haven't gotten my item yet, okay? You promised me two-day delivery. This is day three. And you're saying it might be day six before it gets here. I don't know how that happens, but whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm too angry about that. A Gengar? Uh, we're gonna be smart and send Stone Cold out there. Gardenia. Sorry guys, if you were wondering, I'm looking up what Gardenia's aces level is. That way I know how far we have to train. 22. Jesus. That is a lot of training. That's gonna suck. Why the sudden level jump? Are we on under leveled or something? Because we have to battle her first, I know that. We need cut to get into the gym. And I know Eternophorus isn't gonna give us that many levels. A max elixir, that's that's a nice find. I'm not unhappy about that. Are you on battle me too? You looked lost. You like Pokemon that smells sweet? Okay. Gymnast Florentino. That's a cool name, Florentino. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing it, but it's still a cool name. Okay, we're just gonna go keep keep using Dragon Rage. It's been successful so far. I mean, granted, everything we're battling is like level like 15 and under. Yeah. And if they're not fully evolved, they ain't gonna have that much HP, so. Yeah, the rock, kind of a beast. <clears throat> did you understand what I meant? Your Pokemon probably did smell nice, especially when I burned it to death. Now the one left that needs to level up is Tori. Nice. Yeah, I'm going out of my way to battle all the trainers. What kind of Pokemon live around here, I wonder? I wonder too. But I haven't started battling wild Pokemon around here yet, so... Fisher P. Drift Blim? The fuck you got a Drift Blim for? This Drift Blim was like in the process of abducting this little girl. And then she's like, you're my Pokemon now. That's crazy. Oh, you didn't kill it in one hit, Tori? Oh, God. I hate when trainers do things like that. They're like, minimize. Double team. Doesn't matter though, Pursuit didn't miss. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Good, you just wasted your turn. Aftermath. Wasn't expecting it, so I didn't do, like, do the math in my head to see how much damage it did. There we go. Tori grew to level 16. I still don't know what level Tori will evolve. A Flareon? I guess we're sending China out there again. 
get out of China. I believe that the moment we step into the forest, that the girl is going to start walking with us. So, we really don't have much option. We pretty much have to go in there now, don't we? Because we got to get that encounter done. But then again, I think we can leave after she talks to us, right? Right? I mean, I doubt we're going to encounter anything that substantial that we need to put on the team right away. I'm shocked. How did I lose? We were thinking about these Pokemon around here. You weren't even thinking about fighting me. An Orenberry? Yeah, I'll take an Orenberry. What's this? A King's Rock. Interesting. Well, actually, that, we can make use out of that even though we don't have Slowbro, can't we? Because that has an in-battle effect. It may cause the foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. So we gotta put that on our slowest Pokemon, which is Sable. Yeah, yeah, now we're thinking. Wild Pokemon. Our first encounter on Route 205 is. Ooh, a far fetched. Legit 0% chance it ends up in our team. But I am a sucker for far fetched. So, false swipe. Fury Cutter missed. Good thing. Just false swipe again. I'm really glad Scyther learned false swipe. That is so helpful. Let me throw a ball at it. Premier ball. Premier balls are the best. No, Farfetch, that's not how you get in my ball. Knock off. Okay, I only did two damage. But yeah, I really like Farfetch'd. So... It's a shame that there's 0% chance he's joining our team. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to Dragonite and paralyze him. Because I don't feel like throwing like 30 Pokeballs at him. I'm tired of going on routes, running into wild Pokemon, and then running out of Pokeballs right afterwards. It gets a little ridiculous. Yeah, get him the rock. He cannot land that Fury Cutter. Luckily for us, the rock is Thunder Wave. So we have two Pokemon that should make catching wild Pokemon insanely easy. At least in theory. Yeah, get paralyzed, little bitch. Now I can throw this Pokeball at it. And there's no reason it should be able to break out. It's fighting Pokemon seven levels higher than it. A fucking pseudo legendary. It has one HP. It's paralyzed, and it can't hit me. There's no reason. Just get in the ball. Just get in the ball, Farfetch'd. Don't fight it anymore. God. Mm. Really, Farfetch'd? You really want to go down this road? Just be glad I like you, Farfetch'd. Because if I didn't, I would kill you. Broke out of the Pokeball again. And it's got Fury Attack. Oh my god. Fuck my life. I think it's gonna. Okay, it only hit two times. Thank you. Now this time, actually get in the ball. Please. No! This is getting irritating, guys. It's a level 9 far fetched. What is the capture rate on this thing? And if you do know, please explain me how capture rates work. Because I've never understood it. Do you want a lower number? Do you want a higher number? Thank you. Okay, I guess Farfetch'd wanted me to bore it with, with questions. I'll keep that in mind for the next wild Pokemon. Uh, we need a Pokemon that carries around a stick. I know, not a Pokemon, a uh, wrestler. I know just the wrestler to use. The Sandman. Because he always carried around that kendo stick, guys. I think he did, right? I hope he did, because if not, I just sound like an idiot now. Uh, we're going to kill Tori up a little bit. Because we're not going to the Poke Center just for this little bit of damage. So we got our encounter out of the way. 
battle all the trainers on this round. It's not that long of a wait, kid. Just relax. Wonder what trainer class he gets. Clerk Zoe? Oh, okay, Clerk Zoe. Whatever you want me to call you. Send out a core fish. That's okay. I mean, we have to worry about something up front. She can quick attack that. I really wish she would learn some good moves soon. But then again, I guess that makes her more like Tori Bolson. In fact, she doesn't have any good moves. Come on. I want to say Corfish is part dark, so Pursuit won't do that much damage to him. And I don't know if he's setting up on us. I, I feel like he has Bubble, though. But then again, if he has Aqua Jet, we'd be in a bad spot. Or we won't, because we got that crazy. Give me that neck. There we go. We beat Clerk Zoe. I bet you're very upset, Clerk Zoe. The items placed in your bag are automatically sorted to the appropriate pockets. It's very convenient. Thank you, it's very interesting. Turn around. Thank you. I want to battle you with that little bit of room. God, man, get off me. Why do trainers have to be so close to battle you? Schoolboy Kate? As a Celebi, really? But really, schoolboy Kate? You have a Celebi. What the hell? This game is nuts. Come on. Pursuit didn't even do half itself. That's confusion. As long as we don't get confused, we should be fine. I mean, it did a decent bit of damage, but not enough to scare me. Even if it got a crit, it would only do 20. Yeah, I think it might only know confusion. So. Come on, Pursuit. Good job, Tori. That's what I like to say. No Celebi can stop a Scyther. We all know this. Come on. Didn't give us that much experience for a Legendary. Saying. Let's pick up this Pokeball first. A cleanse tag. I don't think that'll get any usage. Yeah, come battle me. Battle girl. I'm not trained to hold that. Well, now you're an analyst Thomas. Is that not Snow Run? That's not good. And for some reason she randomly leveled up to 15. Okay, okay. I don't understand what just happened, but okay. Well, at least we got Sable here. Double team? I think there's still where I could learn double team. I assume that was just a frost last move. Hopefully, we can actually hit it. Bite? I mean, as long as it doesn't have an ice move, we're fine. I'm, I was just concerned about leaving Tori out there. Jesus, good job. Icy wind. Yeah, if we would have left Tori out there, that would have been bad. I mean, five damage when it's not very effective versus four times weak against it. Thomas couldn't stop us. Brains and brawn. You're a, you're a trainer too? Why are you standing there? Yeah, we're gonna have to balance this team a little more soon. Fisher Stacy. <laughs> she has a C dot. That'll show me. Who's level 14? Why did that one trainer go up level 15? I really don't understand that. Like, what does that trainer normally have? I feel like it would have like a Meditite or something. Bide? Um, I think, I think we're good. Because I think Bide builds two turns. Right? Right? Okay, okay, we're good. Because we would have missed or something, we would have died. That would have been really embarrassing. I lose a Scyther to a C-Dot. 
wants to remove agility. Um, no. No. You're not learning agility. There's just no point for that. There really isn't. Yeah, you should be insulted. You got wrecked. I knew there was an item down here. <clears throat> A rare bone? What does that do? A bone that is extremely valuable for Pokemon archaeology and sold for a high price. Oh, so it's a nugget. Okay. Let's check this house. I feel like they heal us here. You can get through the Eternite Forest by yourself? Yeah. Yes! Oh, we can rest a while. They do look completely refreshed. Thank you, ma'am. Now, if we had cut, we could just slap our way right through here. That must be nice. Uh, we should change up the order of our team. I'm gonna put Undertaker in the front again. Yeah, first step in, she talks to us. Hello, my name's Cheryl, and you are? So your name is Muppup, I'm sincerely glad to meet you, you're my favorite YouTuber. Mother, may I ask a favor of you? I want to eat through this forest, but I'm afraid of doing it alone. I've heard that there is a sinister group of people called Team Galactic about. I think there's safety in numbers, so please may I go through with you. I'll keep your Pokemon in perfect health. Where time stands still. We found an escape rope that could be useful. And it's our first encounter for a turn of forest. Hopefully we something good. We get a double battle of a Machoke and an Altaria. Um, I forgot that she walks through here with you. Even though I knew that she walks through here with you. Please, do not kill that Machoke. Please. Please, miss, yeah. Yep, I'm gonna choke to sleep. That, that, that's good, that's good. Leer, uh, that's your big plan? Yeah, yeah, take Togetic out. And then that way I can catch you. I don't think Metal Claw's gonna do that much. The reason I don't want the Altaria is quite simple. We have Dragonite, and even after that, we have Farfetch'd if we need another flying type. So, we really don't need the Altaria. It doesn't really offer us anything that we don't already have. If that makes sense. The Machoke, on the other hand, well, he's a fighting type. I don't think we have any fighting coverage right now. I very well might just pull Stone Cold out of the team, replace him with Machoke, because Machoke at least offers something to our team. Scyther has the dark coverage right now. In terms of brute strength, we have we have Dragonite, we have Matang, we we have China, yeah, yeah. So we we, we have a strong enough team. Oh goodness. Now I'm all concerned. Because I know it's gonna happen. She's gonna actually start attacking that macho now. She'll be like, fuck you, bitch. You ain't catching that macho. There we go. Macho woke up. Karate chop. Yeah, kill Togetic. That's what I've been trying to tell you to do. Metronome? You gotta be kidding me. Flame wheel? I mean, if you wanna burn him, that'd be helpful, but. Actually, it wouldn't be, because then he'd be damaging himself. Um, we're going to attack Togetic. We, we, we can't lose the Macho. There we go. And our attack went off. I want to say fighting. That Not that the fighting. Uh, that Steel is not very effective against fighting. So we should be able to just pivot our Metal Claw to Macho. If it decides what's the hit. Yeah, keep using Lear. Keep using Lear, buddy. It should be good to just keep using Metal Claw. At least one time. Should be. And then we can throw a ball at it. Yeah. Come on, I don't care about your focus energy. I'm ready to throw a ball at you. But I think we're gonna end the video here. I know it's not as long as the last few parts have been. But the thing is, is I know once we clear through a turn of forest, we have 
the Gardenia battle, and then we have uh, the Galactic battle. And honestly, it's just a lot of parts to cram in, a lot of things to cram in one part. I think this would be the logical conclusion. We made a new encounter. We are ready to go through the forest. I think it's the, the perfect spot, if you will. Not exactly perfect, but it's pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. I finally looked at the calendar and realized Mondays and Fridays will be the days this is getting uploaded. So make sure you subscribe if you see this video and you enjoy it, or you want to see me do something more interesting at some point, then subscribe because those are the days this is getting uploaded. We'll also be uploading a Ruby and Sapphire co-op Nuzlocke, so there'll be plenty of stuff for you to watch. Hopefully we'll be uploading daily, and that would be the, the goal. I'm gonna name him Triple H, because he's a macho, it just seems like it fits him. I think I'm just gonna hang around here, uh, grind up a little bit, and then let me see the level my team's at. Because I know her ace is 22, and that, that, that's just such a big jump. I don't think we're gonna make that jump in grinding. Oh, it threw a turn of forest. My bad. Um, I guess we'll grind a 20. That just seems like so much grinding. Like, for real, we just got to this point. Why do we have to go up so high? But anyway, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Comment telling me, um, telling me how, what fight I should be most scared of. Ignoring the Elite Four and the Champion, obviously. Because that way, at least I can prepare mentally. Even though these videos will probably all be recorded before you guys actually see them. But yeah. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I'm Skillets.